it does seem that everyone's pretty satisfied with this range in the oil price. Is it going to remain at this price for the whole of the year? Well, that's what we uh, expect because uh, the economy seems to be doing well. Uh, demand probably will increase uh, third and fourth quarter. And we still have some uh, uncertainty on the Iran uh, nuclear uh, you know, program and the tension there. So uh, we have uh, taken decision to roll over and to take the risk of uh, seeing things uh, go in that direction. Uh, Minister, of course, the big unknown is the recovery. If exit plans are pulled out of the carpet too soon, there's a risk. Are you concerned about this? Well, that's true. But I think uh, the first few signs is that in the U.S., they have taken the position to remain with the rate of interest. You know, they have. The countries that have uh, the most in terms of uh, increased demand are China, India. And in those countries, uh, uh, the rates of growth are pretty good. As a matter of fact, maybe there's uh, some overheating in the China. So uh, we expect uh, those countries to, you know, to draw the, the demand uh, much higher. So if everything goes according to plan, if demand in China is sustained, will we have to cut production at the next meeting in October? Well, I'm not sure about that uh, because, uh, you know, uh, in terms of uh, non-OPEC demand, in terms of, uh, you know, the uh, increase in biofuels and so forth, We'll have to take into account, you know, what uh, the real demand is going to be at that time. So it's not very clear whether the demand is going to be higher or lower. But uh, I doubt, you know, that we will uh, take that very seriously.